Hello, hello everyone. Welcome on back to another Sly 2 stream. Uh, we, we, we might even manage to finish this today, actually, considering where we are. Which is, like, towards the beginning of Jean Bisson's second stage. I think after this we just have Arpeggio. And then maybe, uh final boss has its own separate stage? I can't quite remember. But, uh, that should be it. We might be able to, uh, finish this off this evening. And, uh, then we can roll on into something else. So let me just go ahead and swap on over to the stream scene here. And let's just go ahead and roll on into it. No, no further uh, theater involved here. I mean, I, I ain't got anything to talk about, so let's just roll right on into gaming. Alright. Did we buy all of our abilities? Yes, we did. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. What missions do we have? We got Murray and two slides. Well, let's do the uh, bear cave bugging first. Since that is just over there. Whee! Um. Yeah, I can't quite cross that. Uh, I want to be down there anyways. So we're in a good position. Oh, uh, I tried to jump into that. Oh. Come on, maybe I should actually pay attention just a little bit. Ooh, shiny pocket, shiny pocket. I like those, because they are mine. Medium necklace, hell yeah. Definitely still need more monies. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. First step is crawling into that's that bear cave and stealing <laughs> the goods. I'm on it. Sneak into the bear cave. Let's go. Let's go. I guess I guess we're pickpocketing bears. Hey, Daedric, how's it going? The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. Favorite home surveillance You'll game. You'll have to sneak up yeah. and pickpocket it while they're yawning. <laughs> Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. We don't want to wake the bears. Um. While they're yawning, right? Why are they like under the tongue? Uh, let's see this. We go up higher. Alright, yeah, I'll just uh, avoid that entirely because that, no, that wasn't going to work out. Blink. Yawn again, bitch. Yawn. I fucking dare you. It takes up like the entire tongue. That That's not practical in like any sense. Alright, come on. O open the mouth, buddy. Thank you. I'll take that one. Not practical, perfect for fanfics. True. <laughs> now, the real question is, we have access to that magical place called the Thief Net that we can just buy abilities from. Why can't we, like buy other things there, like, I don't know, actual bugging equipment? Or have any already on hand? I mean, Bentley just makes things. He clearly made his own, uh, 
RC chopper and all that, so he, he can clearly make things. And he chooses not to. And climbing on this ice is a very quiet activity, unlike walking on the thin ice. What is he inspired? Yes. He's inspired enough for this idea. He could probably handle just making some. Not out of the local bear tags. Alright. Ah, that's why it wasn't on that side. Okay. So I do have to go all the way around to get to the last bear. What an unfortunate placement of ice. It, it is very, very inconvenient, but you know, also very convenient, you know? Unrealistically, so. Ooh. Good thing the magical circle button can yeet you a few meters. Magic of Sly Cooper technology. Alright, Sly, hold on. Sly. Let's get over here. There we are, buddy. Alright. And now this one needs to yawn. Thank God. Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. So, second option about this. There was no other hole in this cave. Are these bears just straight up trapped in this cave? Do they not leave? Do they not need to leave? There is no entrance or exits besides this crawl hole that's big enough for Sly, but not a freaking bear. It's a cult. It's a cult of bear. Not of lamb, but of bear. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Dad bots only. <laughs> Magic. And ascension. Hello, Ducko. Into your pocket and empty your soul. There we go. And he has the same burden. He has the same issue. You know, he has heavy pockets and heavy soul. Let's uh, relieve both of those. There we go. All right. So where do I place these? One. Oh, they're they're all over the place. And. Far away locations. Oop. Just, just place that one there. You think we could just ask the bears? Like, hey, could y'all just go to these specific places? You, th you think they would have complied with that? Like, hey bears, just go here, 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 and here. And just, just chill around. Don't really need to even do much. Just exist there. Uh, yeah, okay. They can see me. Bloop. What? Sly, I was wanting to grab onto this. Just to be out of eyesight of that goatman. Mr. Goatman, won't you goat me a goat? Do -do -do -do. Goodbye. 
Um, I need to get on top of this house, right? Yes, which unfortunately means it's not from over here. Oh, Alright, that's the uh, health I got away. And magic. I'll just run past them because again, don't care. Alright. And that ought to put us right over here. Bloop. Alright. Other positions are there and there, and then about middle. All right, this way first. Uh, let's lighten your burdens. And let's just since we failed and actually uh. Taking them out. Let's just do this. Boop. And the next spot was right over there. Go and bloop. And final spot is back across. Boop. And where is it? Right up there. Nope, that didn't work out. That's right, this will. And place. Nice work! The array is up and running! <laughs> Alright. And then, we have the other mission for Sly. Right over there. And ju just run. Just running. Who needs stealth? I certainly don't. And boop. Oh, convenient. This convenient ladder inside of that air conditioning shaft. Because that ain't doing central heat. Tell you that much. What appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser more global is warming. used to cut through <laughs> petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. <laughs> All right, other side of this wall. Got it. Oh. Um. Well, then I guess logically I just have to go this way. I mean, that only makes sense. <laughs> Singe some hairs there, and made it. And uh, oh, there's no real container to cross in there, is it? You have to uh, get on the ground layer. All right. Oh, yeah, they're safe too. All right, let's uh. Delete this guy from existence real quick. And delete it. And another guy over here. Empty your pockets. What you, how much money you got? Is that it? Your eyes are also open. You sleep weirdly. Alright, this guy. This guy. Bathed in spotlight.
thought we can get over here. And block them all out. And I died. Because I had no health. But uh, by, by doing my triangle connect. Alright, come on. Try that again. Hey. Woohoo! Gonna speed run that little section. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and move out from there. Alright, so now that guy's uh, returning to his walk around. Ooh, he's got something in his pocket. What's he's got in his pockets? It's a broopy, it looks like. Ooh, this guy has pocket contents too. A gold bar? Hell yeah. Why would he just have a gold bar? I don't know. But he did. And now he doesn't. The same with this rupee, actually. Why? I don't know. Mine now. And deleted from existence. If I did my math right, and, and I always, always do my math, math right, right, then the combination has got to be five, eight, three. Five, eight, three. <laughs> Trying to get out of the way there, Sly? The lightning spin move. Yes, Zooks, that's a nice one. Oh, he says something different. I guess it didn't feel like recording another line. Oh, what's the point of getting up here? I don't know. Seems pointless to me. Uh, but I don't see another place. Where am I supposed to go from here? Bam. Bam, hello. Wormst. Do, do I, do I want to go up here then? Is there something I'm missing up here? Attention all you fellas working the sawmill. Make sure you keep a steady Ah, there was something I was missing. The prowler's been spotted. We cannot afford to have anything happen to our log equipment. Particularly that laser type of saw blade. Oh. We're gonna need it once we get to them old oaks up near the cow. Oh, there we go. But hey, you know, we should still Back under the table slot. And empty pocket. Empty pocket. Oh. Alright, back, back under the table. Come on. And delete from existence. There we go. Now we can flip the switch. Which is already set up to point the laser out the window for one reason or another. I'm not quite sure why, but it is. That 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 was like, oh, th this high-powered laser. Let's just have it pointed at the floor, you know, in case we need it. But also, this switch way over here. Let's make it use it to point out the window. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, <laughs> you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walked to where the laser stops. Place a crystal and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Ooh, and don't touch the laser in the meantime, it is very hot. Boing! Oh no, I missed. Oh no, I missed. Oh, one four, Oh, the fucking paraglider touched the spicy laser. And it's still lit me up. Good to know. And... Oop. Topaz! And... 
just fucked your life. Thanks for the help. Alright, so we're going to that peak. And that redirects it. Instead of me putting a uh, crystal down, like you know the game told me, the second thing I was to do was to just break the spires. And there we are. Next one down. Way to heck to fuck over there. The wipes to though. So far away. Just clamber all the way back over. Like it's easy. Whee! Let's go, chat. Whee! And just get on this side of it. Whee! Uh, empty your pocket. You have something in there and I want it to be mine. Thank you for the shiny. Shiny will look good on the market. I'm making jobs here. I'm making jobs, Jack. Whee! Run behind the bear. What's up, bruv? Give me, give me your pocket contents. Thank you. I just landed next to him, and he has no reaction to that. Amazing. And... I'm back, uh, here we go. Boop. Alright. Alright, uh, this goat's just here, and now he's no longer here. Over and round. Come on. Uh, all right, so the laser is pointing all the way back up. All right, let's get back up top, yeah. And not give a shit. Whee. Yeah, those ducks, they can't fly after me. They ain't gonna do shit. And crack that one. And we are almost in the business. We'll just land right next to this guy who has no idea. And he just and fucking killed life. himself. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. Oh no, who I've could have expected it? Such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that, he's back in the deep freeze. <laughs> we freed a woolly mammoth, and it was successfully up, cryogenically frozen. And then it got frozen again immediately. It, it was only there for, you know, a few thousand years. Uh, it, it forgot what it was like to live. In fact, it preferred being frozen, really. Much, it's a much more peaceful existence being frozen. You're not aware of the trials and tribulations of life anymore, you know? Just calm. Hey. That was sparkly. What sparkled so much, huh, yeah, game? Hmm? Alright, there was a sparkly I want to get at. Oh, nope. Wahoo! Wahoo! And... Oh, nope. I landed on that little wheel wrong. Ellipses. Those are also terrible water wheels. They don't take up nearly as much energy as they really should. 
I mean, they're basically just... Well... They're flat wood circles. They don't really take too much of the water's energy used for, like, anything. If you're making power out of it, well, you definitely want it to be a bit better constructed than that. If you're using it for any other purpose, and not just generic electricity, well, you're still doing it wrong. Trying to empty this guy's pocket, and I was rudely interrupted by the arrival of the other guy. Hi. And over the edge he goes. And that should be all. No one else is where. Let's just run past the bear. That bear was close. That was dangerous. But we have arrived to sell the loot. Couple small nugs. That collectible plate was 700 coinage. We still need more coinage. I think we need like another 3k minimum to be comfortable with whatever our next abilities potentially are. I better to get a 7.5 total k though. That'd be another 4k 400. Whee! I don't even know where Murray's uh, job is. <laughs> we just running. RC Combat Clubs, right up there. Alright. We weren't too far off. Get up there. Yes, we can. Hello. Goodbye. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, fuck you, guy. I'm going in. <laughs> fuck you, on-duty guard. I'm gonna go chill with the off-duty guards. <laughs> and you ain't gonna say shit about it. Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. Ah, need a disguise. Do the trick. Um, Only there's no way for you to get up there. Um, Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Uh, that... That seems wrong. Alright, so... If the guards are all a bunch of moose... You know, bipedal anthropomorphic moose... Why the fuck are you going to have clearly a bipedal anthropomorphic moose head stuffed as decoration. What the fuck? <laughs> that... That doesn't quite seem right. Something seems wrong there. I, I don't think I should... I don't think I'm allowed to kill any of these guys. Because, uh, well, they're the combat club. So they need to be alive, so Murray can do the combat club thing. But that doesn't mean uh, their pockets need to have stuff in it. Pockets can be very empty for RC club. Ooh, sapphire. 
Alright. With my pockets heavier, I climb. Whee! And I can... Oh. Yeah, I guess that over here is where I wanted to go. And let's empty your pockets. And let's walk away. And... Boing, boing. Boing. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ah. Oh my. This seems extremely dangerous and makes no sense as to why those blades get those ankles. What purpose do they serve in this? What's up, Ruff? Empty your pockets out. Thank you. So you can go back to sleep now. And let's, uh, ascend. Boing, boing. Flip. And just cross. Empty your pockets. Uh, I guess th th this game want me to actually take that one out? No, 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 I, I can avoid killing all of them. Excellent. Just sleep right on by there. Murray, heads up. And then I just talk out loud. Hey, yo, Murray, look at this. I'm throwing it your direction, buddy. Toss this thing. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the Mur? The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's just put a bet on it and discuss nothing. Okay. Yes. These are some bad controls. I'm be real. Oh jeez. The oh these these controls I they they do not agree. It's not as simple as like actually steering anything. It is one hundred percent based on the camera position. I'm by position I mean angle. Oi, 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 oi. That that tank tried to mount me. These controls are the fucking worst things. Who tested this and said it was okay? And why do they have unlimited ammo? Shot myself a little bit there. Uh, let's just keep away. Now, I always prefer relative steering, where I steer relative to the vehicle itself. So if I want to turn right, I hold right, regardless of what my camera's doing. 
or, you know, any absolute positioning. Excellent. That, that, that tank is, a uh, fully done for at the moment. Nope, nope, I did not get into proper position. Oi! Oi! Woo, I won somehow. But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not. You know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Yep, here's the information. You know, new guy who immediately asked for this particular item. Like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll I'll tell you where that battery is. Sure, that's not suspicious. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully <sighs> clear that to win in the lumberjack <laughs> games, time for this episode. we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, okay. huh? 97% you say? Okay, sure, sure. Man, what a Tekken... Oh, Whoopi Goldberg machine here. Uh, well, it's gonna rely on Murray doing stuff, right? Nope. Oh, there we go. Yep, okay. Old Grizzle Face, Lice Out Break In, and Boat Hack. Well, Murray, you're up first. Let's go. Whee! And up seas. And let's just go ahead and go and bust up what we need you to do there, Murray. Whee! Ow! Ow! Nice. nice. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Hey, that worked out much better than I expected. Oi, 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 oi. Oi. Oh, hey, hi. Oh, I, w I went well past my destination. Ow. Punch, 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 punch. Call it all street brawl. Are we done here? Difference is settled. We know what our places are and what we're about. All right, cool. Kind the same starting spot as the RC car, basically. All right. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty. Pop the mains. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No Not yet, Murray. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. 
but I don't smell hey, like Hey, Glamrock. Do I? How are you doing? How can I lure Thanks him for stopping around? on by. Bentley's taken up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water, and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty okay. should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get some fish. Okay. Headache times ninety thousand. Damn. That's a strong headache. Murray, what the fuck? That was not any good direction. Try that again. Nope, okay. Come on. And... Pops that on the old- nope, that didn't work at all either. Oh, there he goes. Nice work. Let's run down. Grizzle face over to the next oil man by luring him with fish. Let's uh, go to the bridge. Go ahead and cross this. We're being followed by a bear, you know. No, no worries, no problems. I don't even know where the next main is. I'm just kind of assuming. Oh damn, he path found his way around those bear traps. Smart bear. Um. Hey guard, hold this fish for me. Uh, there's old main over there, okay. Can we get another fish? Oh. I've sounded another fish. Being delivered. Um. I'll, I'll just put it there. That's right, I think. Okay. And guards are completely ignoring me this time. Until I have fish in hand. Interesting. Because that bear usually is not that deaf or blind. Not ordinarily. Alright, that's another main down. And... Oh! Oops! Bruh! That was... that was not an angle that should have been at. Oi! What the fuck was that angle? I was literally behind you. Alright, got another fish here. Alright, let's make our way to another oil main. Uh, over here. That... Hmm... Yeah. I'm... I'm sure the bear can find his way over here. I'm sure you can manage. Grizzle face is moving towards your position. Excellent. Did, did he like teleport? Or is he like actually moving the entire distance? Where's Sensors the at the safe house indicate that Grizzle face is on the move. Alright. Does he smell this fish from all this distance and is just galloping? <laughs> that bear can run pretty fast. He's on the way. Can, can he? Is is he stuck actually? Oh. Hi. Don't get a free two shot. And the the bear managed to catch up. Get back here, buddy. Alright. 
All right, the final fish spot, final oil main is uh, over here. Bear's Old coming. Grizzle Face will get here eventually. I I can rest assured knowing that back. <laughs> Yep, there he is. He teleported. Oi. And pop. Second time. Alright, there's fish up there, but I, I need a new one, Pitman. I need a fish down here. Thank you. And. Oh, he's already. Destroyed that one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you didn't finish. All set up. Let's go. 76%. Alright, that was King Carson. Uh, Alright, let's get our way back to the safe house. Just fucking melt him, I guess. Damn. That fist got some power there, Murray. Alright, Bentles, time for your boat hack. Oi. Boing. And just 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 keep running. Don't need to pay any attention to anything. Oh. See, that bear all of a sudden has much better senses. Oh. Ooh, health. Excellent. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To Better side for travel, check. We'll have to drain off its northern light energy by attaching it's a northern light energy. Now it's electricity. It's silo, northern light energy. We should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay. I'll None of this is really making too much sense into how it actually works. I'll be honest. How many will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. <laughs> Alright. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. <laughs> Alright, come on. Throw me then. There we go. Aim is impeccable, huh? Now to hack the Perfect. steering controls. Hacking mini game with so much better controls than the RC, let me tell you. You know that those two just stay alive. Makes no difference to me. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, it's just, it's just making more, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Alright. Oi, 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 oi. Quickly get in there and activate that. We don't need to actually take out all the ships. I'll just chill. Yes, Glamour, what's up? Alright, let's uh, get this shot up there. Oop, nope, that is too far. Far to the side. Hey! Oh, nope, not quite. A little higher. There we go. 
You guys should head out for another boat. What's this game called? Sly 2 A uh, Band of Thieves. It's the second in the series, the Sly Cooper series. Uh, where, Murray, where's the other boat? Am I guiding you to the next boat? I guess I am. Oh. Murray, take him out. Just blow them up real quick. Perfect. Alright, where's the other boats? Uh, you're not really gonna tell me? You might get it later. Uh, it's for the PlayStation 2. Uh, there is also a trilogy edition on uh, PlayStation 3. But, um, well, beyond that, I don't know how available on, like, a PSN it is. It might not be available on PSN anymore, I don't know. And it's not been remastered for... for, like, Steam or anything yet. If ever, to be honest. But there are four games, and I definitely recommend starting with the first game. The first game is quite different. Though it definitely gets a lot better. First game is definitely more of a classic platformer. Whereas this actually has its own unique stuff going on. You may get a PS2. Good luck. I mean, it, it may be easy, it may be hard. I legit don't know. All I know is I have my few copies of this console. <gasps> oh, get that out of there. Done. A PS3 seems better. Yeah. Uh, my friend Jazz Kara. I'll go ahead and give him a shout out. He played through it on the PlayStation 3 remaster. Whereas I'm playing it directly on my PS2. The second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this will be on it. Oh, what the heck? It has one of them too. That was one of your favorite games. I got you. I got you. Mary, get out of there! All right, let's pop up here. Ah, oh, there's the next one. Hey. Infamous games? Ah, I've actually yet to play those. Oh, right, right up here. All right. Uh, Mer, Mer, can, can you point in the right direction? There we go. Thank you, buddy. Just put me on top of the uh, frozen man. I was wondering what happened to that guy. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. Indeed. You don't want to face the harsh realities of this world. All right, pack number three. Third verse, same as the first two. Let's just kind of ignore what the game wants us to do and have the active combat. Uh, fluid intake, you got it. Give, give me a little bit. There's a lot to this particular firewall. Oh. Oh. Oi, oi. Ah, damn. They finally cut up to me ignoring them like that. Alright. Can I actually get rid of either of them? Hey, there's one. Food means like a drink or something. Yeah. It's a Subnautica reference. I had, I had my uh, Hydrate Redeem set as that for a while. 
That's because I like Subnautica and I like non-standard phrasing. And seek fluid intake rather than hydrate is non-standard. Therefore, preference. Uh, let's uh, take these out first. There we go. There we go. And that'll make this job just as had cheesy. Oi, oi, oi! Your headache hurts, that's why you fuse that. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, the guy's been flying in. Ow. Okay, I, I can't go back behind that wall. I get way too trapped in there. Third try this charm. Oh, 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 yeah. uh, point, point, there we go. And pop that one, there we go. Alright, let's lure all these back out of there. Give them a little juke, actually. Use is good? Well, that's good. Okay, let's get that one popped. And that guy, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can't use them to also destroy some of this firewall. Damn, much like a real life virus. We could try to use the antivirus systems against themselves them to destroy each other. That's what some real life viruses do. They hijack your body against itself. Like, oh, you thought you're fighting me, but instead you're fighting yourselves. Alright. That takes care of all of those. Now, we're done so. Ooh, finally. You do that last shot to the top of the silo. Now, it totally isn't suspicious how three of their boats all of a sudden, you know, kind of moved in front of the silo and then winched it. No nothing about this mission makes sense this entire chapter of the game. It's just a fever dream. They're actually still trapped with a Contessa. They never actually escaped, clearly. That's the only way this makes sense. As if it didn't actually happen. That did it! With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. Yes. Because electricity would take up the physical space within the battery. That's clearly it. Come on, Bentley, you're smarter than that. Electricity doesn't take up physical space. Not like that, not like you can drain a battery and it becomes literally empty. Now, whatever electrolyte you're using to store the electricity... Now, that won't have the electrons in it anymore, but... It won't be literally, physically drained. Ow! Well, Bentley, that's why I didn't want you jumping out of the water yet. I, I didn't want you doing that yet. I want you to stay right down here. Where they can't get you. Yeah. Alright, now you can move up. Uh, both up. And just to confirm, there's only two slide missions left, right? Yep. Only a couple slime missions. Let's go. Oh shit. I ran the fuck over. 
And be running. Boing. All right. Switch back to the infinitely better slide. Now the uh, title character. And let's uh, get these missions done. And off the clip you go. Bye. Hey, found the follower emails. Hey, good shit. Oi. I'm just gonna die, duck directly into here. And, um. Take a small breather. And get back out, back out. It's a raccoon? Yeah, Sly Cooper. He's a raccoon. In the first game, you're getting his family's book back together. The Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was stolen by, uh, I can't even remember their name, uh, Fiendish Five, I think it was. They go and murder your entire family except for you, and then split your family's heirloom book amongst themselves. And the first game is putting back together. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable sapphire, of climbing up uh, the There are sapphires, top. but... Once no, that was just a mission location. Mission marker. We'll help you finish the job. Alright, see you on the ground floor. Alright. Get to the ground floor! Tacos are best. <laughs> I'm still sad with Twitch how the uh, follower emotes can't be used, like, outside of your channel, even by yourself. Like, really, if you have a follower emote, your subscriber should be able to use them instead of having to take up two emote slots. Just to have a set of, like, follower emotes, as well as your sub emotes. Tacos are the best. And you can make like anything into a taco, which makes it even better. Alright, let's uh... Murder that guy real quick. <laughs> Got a guard on top of the lighthouse, and I put him to the ground floor. A lot faster than I'm going to the ground floor. Okay. Turkey? No, that was a duck. Whoops. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I need to use the stairs to go down. But I could just... I'll save one down the inside. Oi! Okay. Oh hey, he's got stuff in his pocket. Let's empty that first. Don't ducks become turkeys after you cook them? No. Ducks are ducks. Turkeys are a different animal entirely. Oh. Oh, I accidentally just, uh... Okay. Let's just... Keep going like nothing just happened. Because, uh, you know, nothing did happen. Huh. Camera, please. Alright, now we can open up the, uh, door and let them in. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that northern line attractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that Slag? Simple, That's British. I'll reverse the energy <laughs> flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. <laughs> Alright. 
Now I need to switch up the top. attention to which one's going to do the thing. Hey. Yes, he is a science title. Yeah, he's the smart one. He's the brains of the occupations. It's law is the dexterity and Murray's the strength. Bentley is the smart one. Even if some of the things he does make just no goddamn sense, he's still the smart one. Murray's the muscle? Exactly. Exactly. And he's, he's definitely got some muscle. This game also does something cool in the uh, third in one. Well, at the end of this one, actually. We'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs, and then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles' protective instincts against Bissan. Sure, sounds easy. All right, let's go steal an eagle egg. where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, um, the pent-up combustible my materials have just caught fire. <laughs> I see. The updraft created by the flames should give now me some extra altitude. Now it's zooming back in. <laughs> just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too this game close, is that bugging old little bit. Face will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. <laughs> Barbecue raccoon. All right, so. I am trying to head out into the water. I, I don't fully know what it wants me to do here. I ride the updraft, okay. How high? All the way? Does each one get successfully higher? I don't know. You only know about dexterity because of torchlight? I mean, that's fair. I first learned it through, uh, as a term through D and D, so uh, Dungeons and Dragons, so uh, I, I can relate. But yeah, Sly is the dexterous, more thieving one. He's the sneakiest of the bunch. He can do all the climbing and everything. In the first game, you only play as Sly. Here in the second game is when you start playing as the other two as well. Now you want to play Torchlight? Oh, I know that feel. If, like a game is mentioned and you're just like, well now I want to play that game. Uh, that happened to me earlier. The game uh, called Peglin. Uh, there was another streamer that I watch and she has started playing it. And I played the demo of it. And I was like, yep, 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 this is a fantastic game. And I immediately bought it and just played it all day today until now. Until my stream had started. I was just playing Peglin. Yeah, next Tuesday I might play it. Who knows? Maybe I'll play Backpack Hero. Because I also bought that as part of a small bundle will save some monies. Like Berserk is technically Sly and Murray mixed. Yeah. Usually you don't have those two entirely separate. Not in RPGs anyway. Usually you want your muscle to also be the sneakiest. So they can you know get the massive crit damage out. Ember Mage's ranged attacks. Alright, alright. Alright, let's see if we can't get to the island now. Mm. 
All right. Watch out for those eagles. They don't look friendly. Not at all. Not at all. Ooh. And landed. Yeah, four eagles. There, there would not be four eagles together. There's barely two eagles together. And not even just because they're endangered. Because, um, Excellent eagles job. aren't sociable. And boop. And also, apparently this was half a mile away. And the route we took was the only way to get there. Even though we have this convenient way back. You know, to clearly couldn't just have gone the opposite direction or used one of the boats or anything. Alright, where's my destination? Where do I want to go? Whee! Um... Hey, Candy, how's it going? I lost the egg. Okay, I want to get back to safe house. Well, I was trying to open my parachute into the updraft game. Whee! Was that in the ice look like a mammoth? It was a mammoth. We uh, freed it earlier from a different ice cube, and then it ran into the water and got frozen again. So it's uh, a re-frozen mammoth. Da. Ah, took damage again. Alright. Let's actually try to be sneaky this time instead of bumping the guard. I was trying to sneak just beside him. But, uh, clearly I didn't do too good of a job. I especially wasn't expecting the second guard. No one expects the second guard. Come on. Can you can, thank you. Whee! Wahoo! Uh, shiny pocket? No shiny pocket. Mm -hmm. If you know shiny pocket, I don't have much interest. Shiny pockets only. Great work, Sly! Alright, that should be everything. And now we're ready for the main heist itself. I think. The Lumberjack Games are upon Operation us. Canada Games. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassad at his own game. So, though it pains like me to say it, thank you. we'll have to cheat. Made it myself. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Bassad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Assad from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling Just lines. Blatant cheating. And finally, <laughs> I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basad's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we cheating. head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. All right, let's go. All right. Well, uh, do we have any more items to sell? We do. Cool. Alright, Sly. Let's get out of there. It's a Bentley start. Alright, Bentles, get out there. Start the operation. Okay, guys. Let's head down there and win those talons That's from all Johnny Sly. Spawn. <laughs> Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Indeed. You won't recognize the rest of us. We'll recognize Excuse Sly. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your There's a whole crossbow game. with a dart. 
think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Chop chop. Like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Oh. Game did not brief me on how to do this at all. Your technique is pathetic, big man. Where'd you learn Better. to chop? From a book? Yes, he did learn to chop from a book. And you're breaking him fewer hits. Like that? Hey, all tins. Hell yeah. On their digital displays. Alright, time to, uh... Cheat now. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Yep. Tap, just have the egg in hand, just walk forward. Ow. There's a lot of yolk in that egg. Look at that. That's, not, that's at least like five separate yolk out of that egg. What the fuck? <gasps> oh. Just keep dodging slightly. No jumping's loud, so all this ice has to just scrape next to each other. Please. Oh, nope, timing was off on that. There we are. Come on, come back over. No one notices as I just plop that right in there and step like a meter or two away. Failure. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? Well, now you're threatening the judges, see? Biased competition so right there. Now we're justified in cheating. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Hey. And no problem. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Pretty good for a scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as <laughs> good I Good for a scrawny raccoon. Raccoons are known for being sneaky and being able to just do shit that they want to do. And he, I'm sure he won't notice any of the lines at all until it's too late. Oh, nope, too far. Um, I need to reset this one. Because he's made it now, already. That's how it's done. Oof. Yeah, he's able to make it up the ice wall. I mean, it doesn't matter if he gets a perfect score or not. Like, one, we also have a perfect score. Two, he's gonna cheat and make the judges give him perfect score anyways. Come on. 
magically attach. And now nope. That's okay. How it's done. Try that again. There's not a whole lot of time. There's no grace period here. Oh. Oh. Nope. Even, even worse. Even worse. Can you, like, attach? There we go. And he's already made it. I don't have too much memory of actually this particular section. Well, of this ice wall part anyways. Oh, there's another path right, right there. Come on. Attach. There we go. New magic. There we go. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Masterful display of climbing? I mean, I already did a masterful display of climbing. So I'm already, like, ahead of you, buddy. What? Can I... Attach? Holy fucking shit. Come on. Magic? There we go. Not too high, apparently. Yes. Oh, there we go, and he's made it. No applause for aye, that aye, masterful aye. display of climbing. Can I get like any sort of help in this game? Like, give me better targeting or faster return speed or angles that make any bout kind of sense. Because as it stands, these angles don't make sense. Come on, come on, come on. Faster. That's how it's done. And I can't even do these in any order I want. I have to start with the left one. I'd rather start with the right one, because that's where he primarily starts. There we go. It's fun. Oh, nice. All right. There we go. And pull him back down. And he fails, and you know, being pulled by grappling hooks is unnoticed. <laughs> Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? Threatening the judges again. I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Spinning log it looks competition. Easy I just need to stay out of the water. Nope, just stay out of the water. Oh. A log rolling turtle. Who ever heard of such a thing? Interesting. So there is a 3D component of forward and backwards to matter. Edges again. Oop. Oop. Nope. You disgrace my competition with that performance. <laughs> Damn, getting six of two fives disgraces your competition. Not you threatening the judges and only having literally one group of competitors. That doesn't you disgrace, disgrace your competition. My competition with that 
That one makes more sense. But what competition are you running here, Chief? Alright, that, that was not the one that moved last time. But I mean, you would imagine not having an amount of competitors greater than two would be more disgraceful to the competition than one failing single challenge. Especially when you're also threatening the judges to give you a good score and, you know, ruining the entire spirit of the competition worse than a Cooper Clan cheating here. But, you know, what, what do I know about running competitions? I don't do that. And almost done. There we go. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. Well, we got perfect John 10, so we're clearly got skilled. Those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three we'll just become the judges. Restrained. We'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a we great the plan, alarm clock. Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we have the alarm clock equipped, I suppose. Alarm clock. To that cave goes and gets knocked the fuck out. And Bentley's immediately over there posing as one. And as two, we're gonna see uh, the Murray. Into the cave. Fuck up. Uh, now this last one, I should be able to like beat him up right then and there, but I think you need to lure him in the cave anyways. Now I don't think I need to go into the cave. I think I just do the exact same thing, and it'll just magically work. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. You didn't listen to the last one. Come on, I'm almost out of time here. <laughs> well, game, please. You had him almost running away from it. And I'm almost out of time, so I, there wasn't much I could do. Besides, he was practically in the cave already. place. Totally half the height of the others. You know, makes sense. Nothing suspicious about that. Whenever your friend is just replaced next to you, you know, 
It only makes sense you don't notice the replacement, you know? Damn, please. I was trying to get in the barrel. What do you want from me? There is... there is not a lot of room for error in this game. Well, in this particular... uh... mission. There's not a lot of room for error. And the first... the uh, submission of this operation, there was room for error. I was pretty generous with the uh, eagles. But that's because they're an actual enemy that was being utilized. The rest of this? No. Non-generous stuff. Mm. And it's beat up. Alright, Murray's got him replaced. And now it's my try again. Alright. Come on, duck. Let's get you over there. Bruh. Bruh. He completely ignored it. Entirely. <sighs> and then I got seen because it just didn't want me to get in the barrel. Ay ay ay. An unskippable cutscene. Still. It's like the uh Winning and losing screens in Kingdom Hearts. Got all this fanfare and huzzah and it's like, can we just move the fuck on? I'm familiar with this whole rigmarole. Duck, please. You should have heard that first one. Alright, let's try to get it going. Follow the sounds of the alarm clocks. Um... There we go. So the barrel is not entirely necessary. I can use something up in the barrel. Good to know. If I just go far enough away, it will work. As you know, sight lines. And every single enemy in these games are very nearsighted. Alright. That was final. Let's see if we can't get this one to work this time. Come on. And it's three. Enter the cave and slide magically follows. There we go. Judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, the judges you, you hired. Want the talent, then why don't you just take them? Damn. They got knocked the fuck out once more. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly, Murray. Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. 
<laughs> Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisan must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like oh, got to played escape again. before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. <laughs> I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop yeah, turtle squeezing through anyway. That shell ain't compressing. And if there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Now there is a convenient uh, like handle to floor too. Good luck, Bentley, and remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Whee. Let's escape this rudimentary jail. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were conscious, me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect so you don't one gather them all together. Understand the finer points of commerce. You steal you one and then you consider it good. So it can't be all assembled. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get Walnut. ready for a smushing. Call smushing. out which lever I should pull. <laughs> All right. Cook him. There you go. Sauce? On it. Sauce! 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 Yep. And fire. fire. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this varmint. Varmint? I ain't no varmint. How's that? Cook him! Done. Woohoo! And fire. Done. Wait! Flame him! Okay. And how's that? <laughs> oh no, so not dynamite now. Ten four. There you go. Oh, I cooked myself a bit. There we go. Come out, boys. <laughs> Let's get to killing. Get to killing. Damn. Fire. Bam. Sizzling nizzle. On it. Sauce. All right. Ooh. Lock away. <laughs> Beating the fuck up again with his own sawmill. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. And speaking of brawn, good job, little buddy. Murray that was got the door open. Thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. <laughs> uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. <laughs> if we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! 
Let's go! Get into that battery. Do I actually run there or is it magic? Actually run there. Get to running. Oh, get the water. And nope, that died. That was a long neck stretch there, Bentley. The heck. All right, maybe we should um Shake a not use that, that route. On its way. Maybe I ought to actually go to the right side of that platform. So I can go across the bridge like a civil person. <laughs> Alright. We made him, so we just magic up there. We don't actually have to do the maneuver in ourselves. Can't, can't y'all both just use the tart? Y'all don't need to do that whole rigmarole. <laughs> and into the battery. And here's our Beggio's As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray... Murray took it the worst. He just mm. sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Get a new van. Once you're off the blimp, y'all gotta get that new van. But Murray needs his van. That was 100%, right? Yeah, 100%. Time for Anatomy for a Disaster. The final episode. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard well, for his sinister small, young so his wings should still work for flight. And it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Clockwork does not see the light of day again. And he won't. But he must not. It is our goal to prevent that from happening. He just like Again, keep certain parts to ourselves and be like, you know, that's enough. The rest of it, it, it can be left alone. All right. Barrel pounce. And... Temporal lock. All right, Sly. Now you're up. Let's go and get some more money. So we can get Murray's new ability. Hey, medium diamond, hell yeah. 
Now we get diamonds. Uh, is that where the Northern Lights battery was? Alright, let's uh... Yep. Just go on, keep giving me your money. And good luck. Alright, so there are in fact... Uh, clue bottles. Uh, climb, 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 climb. <laughs> and off the edge you go with your jetpack, because that makes sense that you would die from that. And let's just go on over here. And get that first clue. Glide over. Can you climb all the way to the top of the balloon from here? Uh, uh, okay. We need to uh, switch to the next one. There we go. Alright. And. Glide back over. Ah. And up seas. Oh, that's not what I intended to do, but that's fine. There we go. Is there another one on top of here? No, there's not. But there is one up here. There we go. Oh, there's another one down there. And let's also take an extra look around here. Good thing I did, I can hear one. Here a little bit, where is it? Boop. Beat your existence. And you go off the edge there, buddy. Did I not hear it? Did I just imagine it? Maybe I was just imagining it. Or perhaps it was part of the song or background music, as as it often is. I end up not being able to determine what's real when it comes to that sound. I'll see you off the edge there. Take all your muns. All of your money. There we go. And to leech you from existence. And let's start moving back along. Go with this lower path here first. No, no, give, give me your money. I want it. You don't deserve it. Haha, uh -huh. fucking nerds. Alright, let's uh, delete you from existence now. Uh, and there we are. 
pass right quick. And just uh, get out of that danger zone. You know, real quick like. Fortuitous. Um, let's see. There's, there's gotta be another one up here. Need to get up to the top somehow. And I don't know how we're supposed to do that. Not yet. Yeah, maybe we can't yet. Or at all. I feel like it's a yet issue. And not a at all issue. Ah, there's a spot. Oh, that, that connects around there in a circle. Um, ah. I'm gonna need to grab this clue bottle. But can I get any extra fights to get on top of these? Not that I can see. Yeah, that's just kind of just that. Let's see, let me take your money real quick. And delete your presence. And absorb your soul into uh, the dark beings. Here we go. That's another one down. Another one bites the dust. And yeah, this won't help me get over there. But there is a clue up there, so I do need to get up there. I just need to find out how. Ay ay ay. The verticality of this place. Ow. Uh, aha. Another poop bottle down here, another one over there. Let's, uh... Just gonna grab those like that. Get there back up. something to pop. Do anything? Probably not, but it's something to pop. Makes me feel better. Oh, I could just walk into them. They'll also pop. They're sound makers. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Right, let's just send back up here, because there is that clue bottle over this way. Do a quick loop. Well, I don't need to do a quick loop. There's nothing on the other side. Alright. Make way down. Ah! Alright, we're almost halfway through the blue bottles. Uh, I still have the alarm clock, so let's go ahead and just throw one. Up on. Oh no. Stop. No, I'm supposed to gank up on me. I'm only one raccoon. A fun to watch? Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Let's see. Let's just get on over here. Yeah. Uh, 15. 
But we are at halfway now, at least. Come on, empty your pockets. And there we go. Alright, let's see. Where might we find the other 15, I suppose? We know where one of them are. Oh, there's another one. Um, so 13 left to locate, and one to find the pathway to. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. Slowly is rising up. Gotta let me hop on the disc proper. He has got a shiny pocket. Whatever you have in your pocket is mine. Gimme. 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 Gimme, gimme what's in the gold bar. There we go. Thank you. And off the edge you go. Oh. Ignore that for the moment. And just cross the ship. And completely ignore all the all the guards wanting to get me. Hey look. There's a bottle. Alright, let's climb up the ladder. Nope. Nope. Goodbye. Ah, uh, you, you, you don't know where I am anymore. You don't know how to look down, you fucking idiot. Alright. And now I empty your pocket. Give me the goods. Give me more money. Come on, I, I, I need more money so I can buy Murray's ability and not use it. Just, just bring your soul into the realm and climb up here. Yeah. Anything up here? No, there's one over there. Let's give me the final sly ability once you get the other dozen clues. Let's cross over here. Oi! And hit me. Y'all don't know what I look like. Y'all don't know where I am. I didn't just hide in a smoke screen. That that was that was the other guy. That was that was clearly not me. Uh, let's uh, get back here and grab that. And it's up to twenty. Get that one. There we go. Plus, you can grab this one. And the other is right here. Still leaves us with seven and unknown locations. Again, we know where one is. We just don't know how to get to it. Give me your medium necklace. Disappear. Alright. Is it on the ground around here? Right back there. There's one. Grab that. That's a sneaky little po oh. Hello. Well, I'm down here now. Let's uh, take advantage of that empty in the pocket. Oh. Um, 
He did not see me at all. Cool, cool. Reg pop, you got it. Be a moment. Alright, let's just delete that guy. Ooh. That was a good pop, thank you. Alright. Let's see. If I cross back over there. I know. Let's cross. And ascend with this. Up to this level. And then from here we'll head over to the ladder. Whee. There we are. Nope, nope, nope. Back. They're all back. Um. I was never here. You were never here. Thank you all. Alright, uh, climb up top here and deal with this guy real quick. Alright, deleted him. Alright, so I know there's one right over there. But how am I supposed to get on top? Might be a clue up there. But uh doesn't really tell me how to get there. Unfortunately. So instead I'll just have to climb on this a little bit. Come on. Start start tilting back. There we go. And it'll turn at some point. There we go. Cross. Over here. Ooh, there, that's a, a bugged artifact, but it's one nonetheless. Yeah. Hmm. One thing over here. No, this is the way up. Delete your existence. Not gonna worry about. Like, fully getting all your funds. And once you're done with that... And... Come on. Be done. Be done now. Boom. Don't think there's any more clue bottles back here. Alright. He's cleared out. I'm just gonna grab this and head back to the uh, base. Nope, lost it. Alright, that's... Ah, it's not a problem. It might even respawn by the time I get back to it. Oop, yep, there it is. There we go. And let's just speed run back. We can neglect any semblance of stealth and just go for it. Oh, no, apparently not. Alright. Game decided that wasn't gonna happen. Let's re get back up to it. Because it is a decent chunk of change. Let's get on this so it doesn't beat us to the punch of going getting too far to the side. Alright, let's just fly down here instead. 
because of that, also just as easy. And then have a piat. Climb up here. There we are. We just send right here. And just, just go inside real quick. There we are. Whoops, that's, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back in. Sell the loot. And not quite enough. Need 200 more gold. 200 more coinage. Empty his pockets. And empty his life. Ah, uh, this little, uh, robot down there. Alright, let's see here. I can climb up here, excellent. Uh, higher? Higher. There we are. And there's another one too. Excellent. Alright. That's two of them. Uh, hmm. That still doesn't help me get to the cinder platforms. Uh, rough. Take this up. Yeah, it's really as high as we can get. And that's not really getting us to the point we need to be. How am I supposed to get on there? Well, okay. How do I get up there? Empty this guy's pockets once more. Back into the void dimension. Oh! Oh, I missed that one. Grab that real quick. Alright. We just need to find two more and find the way to number three. Alright, let's empty your pocket. We don't really have anything good. We do have some coin. And that's good enough to justify your death. Alright, let's see. Well, I can't stand like that, but it really do anything for me. I... Nope. Oh, maybe. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is that newer ability I got. Feral Pounce. Jump over vast distances. That, that might be the key. Oh, almost. Come on. Come on, Sly. Just, just pounce right up there. Come on. Almost. Just need to... Oh, there we go. I can find the two. Okay. Mid-pounce, I can do a second jump. Okay, okay. I don't think I ever knew that. So I like that. That's a brand new thing to me. Alright. Check around the base here. Make sure there's nothing. Yep, there's a whole lot of it. And just ascension. I think this will also be the last coinage I'll need. Hey, there's one. Alright. 
walk around the edge. How? Oh. I'm going to perform this little maneuver. Over here. Hop over here. And go straight through here. And that, that that was expected. And upsies. Alright, that that's a full loop of that. And there was no gleams stuffage. Gained nothing from that. The uh, disappointment. This farm is basically the only thing gleaned from that. Uh, let's see. Down there at that base station. Have I actually really gone around that? I don't think I have. Hi! Just uh, do that. Nothing. A lot of nothing down there. Alright. There's a whole lot of nothing that they This do. body's purpose is to withstand wear and tear. That the one we get rid of that one. Oi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get interrupted by the other guy. And let's see. There's nothing more up there. Oop. Yeah. This room is just some extra stuff. I'll grab this loot and clip it. This way. Release. Cross real quick. And we've basically made it once again. Another piece of loot. There we are. And that'll let us buy Marie's final ability. There we are. Alright, all abilities purchased. And uh, one clue bottle left. Fuck. That's the worst. If it's just the one left, where could it be? Do y'all know where it's at? Alright, let's climb up here and Maybe it's down here somewhere? Probably ain't. Not ain't. This sentence was death. You're death. To your death. And to your death. Your jetpacks ain't worth shit, buddies. 
Alright, let's see. Hmm. Where, oh where? Could it be? It's not gonna be there, would it? Oh, whoops. Delete a space. Yeah, it's not up there. Oh, slide. I, I told you to jump. Definitely not up there. So we are I'm not sure of its location at the moment. Just, just toss you off the edge there. And we'll just ascend. We'll go back to the uh back platform. That's for some reason it's all the way back there. location B. Okay. Oh, uh, he ended up killing himself, I guess. Uh, let's just go this way. Head back up again. So I'm gonna double check up here. Oh. This has changed to a wildly different direction. So that balloon does change position at least. Would it help me like getting up there? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think the positioning's right to help me get in that. But don't think I'll find what I'm looking for there. And cross. And let's check down here. Go up here. Here we are! Here we are! Alright, let's go ahead and do Science this. Recon. picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Alright. Mission started, so we can no longer do any of the, uh... ...stealing of the pieces. But that's fine. Uh, I keep feeling like I hear it, but I know I'm not. Where the fuck could it be? Uh, regardless, you have something to steal. Not that I need to do that anymore. Let's delete you from existence. You know, as one does. 
We'll double check in here that yeah, there's there's nothing around here. And over the edge you go. Let's check around base here. Oh, there's a item to steal up there. I can't steal it right now because uh, I started the mission. But it is interesting to know. But where could this final clue bottle be? It's also not going to be over on the uh, blimp. I guarantee that. Huh? Ah. Oh. I can jump this. Neat. Interesting. Uh, not useful at the moment, but good to know in case it decides to become useful. Um. Yeah, there's no clue bottle on this side of that, so equally useless. Huh. Now, pop the edge again. I really want to find that uh, last clue bottle before we actually do anything. Ow. I'm just killing for hope of health. There's health. Is there more help in these barrels? Any more help? Hello? Help? Oh, it's bees that I'm hearing. Absorb your soul. That guy distracted. Let me have it. Let me have that last clue ball. Me. Just one measly little clue bottle. Let me have it. Give me the location. Right up here. Out here. Because I know when I do hear it. There's times where I'm questioning. But I know when I can hear it. If I can't hear it, then I, I know that I'm not hearing it. Where is it? Where could it possibly be? We checked all of that, all of the initial area there. Went around both of those. Went up here. Got that one. Not up there. Can't possibly be up there. Uh, we checked back there and could not find it. We've been all the way down there. And been all over down there and it was not located. I don't even know where that leaves. Where does that leave us to check? Throw this 
laser or something? Let's go back up here. I just have to fucking recheck these places. There, there it is. Found it. Fine. There we go. Now we can actually do the mission. Whee! Found it. So now we need to find the safe, and uh, that's going to be. A lot easier. As we'll probably run into it during a spy mission. Now I just need to get to a high point. Go right back up here. We'll send on the balloon. As the balloon just kind of swings around a little bit. We'll let it get to its closest position and then glide off. Oh, it's coming back. And... No. And here we are, on the other blimp. Up seas we go. And fuck that up, and let's get in there. Alright, let's see how far along Arpeggio is. Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Indeed. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Okay. Okay, so I'll just wait for it to get by. There we go. Oh, nope. Alright, let me just zoom in slightly then. These there magnetic go. inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Alright, so now I need a picture from Clockwork's face. Give me what's in your pockets, buddy. And we'll just delete you. Don't defeat his guards, you learn about the operation first. Ah, but you gave him a blue shiny pocket! They have blue shiny pockets, so I wanted to steal. I took his, uh, money, and then I took his life. On angle, but I need to take pictures of the eggs, too. Let's uh, use this platform to and get on top of clockwork here. Yeah, I'm sure the uh, dangling was not noticeable at all. No, no, no. And then we'll just boop, pop ourselves down here. Picture of clockwork face. Um, 
There's Neela. But you know, we don't we don't know that yet. Jump back on top of clockwork here. Where where is the thing we're trying to take a picture of? Oh, way back there. Okay. Radioactivity. I wouldn't get too close. But like activity of radio waves. Of the blip. Like actual radioactivity. I think it's arpeggio. And Neela. They're both over there. Inspiring. And up seas. We'll just make our way back to the front again. Boop, boop, boop. Neela? Here we Neela's go. here too! There's our Pegia. There he is. The mastermind behind this blip and the source of all our problems. It's true. And then... Good old Neela. I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! Indeed. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, absolutely any way. Bust up the inducers. inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. There's then you'll the need to manually reverse keys. the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. There it is. Boop, boop. All right. I got the key. Can I murder him? I can. Excellent. So that'll make my job here so much easier. I don't actually have to deal with the guards. They're already dealt with in the form of being dead. And cross the way. Empty pocket. Give me that key and disappear. And climb to the top. Wait for this guard. Yeah, you should turn around and be like, oh, where are all my friends? Oh, that's weird. Everyone else is on shift just gone. Maybe it's lunch break or something. But no. It's not lunch break. It's death. And there we are. Unlock each padlock individually. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. You know, get up there to do that. Okay. Well, I'll use clock some more. Yeah. Ah, right. Right there. Yeah, I should actually come from this side for it. Alright, so they do operate in pairs.
Other ones coming around. Nope, 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 it, it rejected me. I was rejected by the platform. I was, it was too quick. Gotta wait for it just slightly longer. And so here we will indeed wait. This one. And uh, that'll let us be in position for the next two. We're still going you know, at a decent clip. And swap. Climb. Yeah, that, that was a very sudden quick cut. Oh no. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. What's all this then? But by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Sly Cooper, of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality. Truly pathetic. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? Hatred was of the Cooper fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the Interesting. blimp. Interesting. Ah, Using Northern Lights as food light source. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Mila, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! <laughs> Stupid arpeggio. 
I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? For real, though. She's just tr untrustworthy. This is fiber for being. You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... Oh, and Arpeggio's dead. Killed live on TV. On 4K. <laughs> and now clock was around. As we head back to Paris, where this all started. As we all know, back to things are the looking City great. of Lights. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the Union has produced Clock Lock. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clock Lock. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Hell yeah. Getting Let's see at it. these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. As usual. We've pulled off yeah. some tough jobs in the past, but they were just the warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Well then, let's get started. It could take forever, so let's go ahead and uh, start knocking it down now then. Because it can take a while doesn't mean we should wait. Alright, let's... Have a little look see here. Alright, so we have two slides and a Murray and a Bentley. Well let's go ahead and get these close ones done. Let's start as Murray and just run over that way. Whee. Uh, let's see, movement abilities. Yeah, turnbuckle launch, sardi, equipped, nothing else is a movement ability. Okay. Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall mounted power stations located mm. throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No Ooh. sweat, right. Sly. Gotta run around, run around this entire freaking blimp to get that done. So again, let's get started. Let's pick up one of the eggs. And you see that one. Pop. Across the other side here to pop it with this barrel. There we go. One done. And where's the others? One, two, three, four. Each platform down here. All right. Start on the right side. Work way around. Oh. Back there. All right. We'll just flop some chair there. Right. 
Boop. We'll use one of their bodies to pop that open. And the other platform should hold the other two in much the same way. Uh, so we'll just run on over there. Nope, that, that did not work out. There we go. And two. Two. Punch. Pick. And drop. And one final one remaining. Completely lacking eggs. Gather what I need. To finish that one off. Huh? Oh, there we go. Looks Oop. like the power locks are offline. Come on back and pry it open for me. All right. I mean, it's more secure to have all the power locks, you know, all over the place like that. But also having the power locks all over the place like that means you need lines connecting all the way back and those can just be cut real easily. So it's really not any more secure. Alright, so... Oh. I missed it. It's over here. Get his money and everything about him and uh, Get on over to the spot. Turn off this engine. There we are. Yeah. Come on. I can do the whole clicking business. There we go. Hey, Spray, how's it going? So slowly I can wait up there. What is it, Spray? Did you uh, see Dandy's uh, picture? Is that what you're referring to in this occasion? Ah, there's it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta remark spray. Only the mildest of chastisements. Every time you come in, you get something to say about the handy. <laughs> and in the mildest of chastisement, take it how you will. Judge and looked at with a disgusting face. <laughs> How is that my first guess? Yeah, because like, like I just All said. Right, the is your position <laughs> oh shit! Well oh shit! Uh oh, I need to cross up right now. Also, yeah, not you like all sizes. Yeah, all sides is good. I have a bit more preference towards the smaller of them myself. God dang. It's fine, I'm supposed to grab on there. But that's just because... Big ones equal back pain for the wielder. 
and also it's just like too much. What what are you gonna do with all that? To people that like have a extreme preference towards them. Why? <laughs> Do you, you, you think you can actually utilize all of that thing for purpose? This is just an aesthetic thing? It's like the look of the large ones, but you don't do anything with them? Like, what is it? Hey, look, say. And six health? Seven, two, five. Seven, two, five. Hoggers. Ooh, ooh, what's this one? Invisibility. Shadow power. You've gotten the shadow power I assume that's gonna let me be, uh, super move without being seen. Huh. Good replacement for my shadow slide. That's out for this engine. Ooh, engine disabled. We, we can't just jump down, but the spinners are still on, oddly enough. Got all the securities down. Break this chair again. Fuck your chair. <laughs> but also spray. Well, let, let me lay this out there. With gesture ellipsis, I already knew what you were gonna say. It didn't take anything more than your ellipsis. Me to know what what was up. Charge TNT run. That's close by, and it sounds like I'll end up as sly in the end. Let's go do that one. This engine room is locked down tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. <laughs> it just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Nice. Walk How are we getting it up there? Walk one of barrels up to that engine room I know exactly what's walking. Oh, Sounds God. easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you Ooh. should achieve the necessary oh, blast yeah. force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. All right, Sly. <laughs> what you're about to do is extremely fucking dangerous, my guy. Like that. That level of dangerous, Sly. <laughs> let's, let's just go this way instead. Right, let's go the long way around. And there's... Not... Too many guards actually doing the rounds. I mean, we got lucky there. Perfect. Um, the one's all the way in the back here, eh? Okay. I guess that's our actual first destination. Ay, ay, ay. That guy, no idea. That guy had a modicum of idea. Even though it wasn't moving when he decided to go, huh? This time, let's follow behind this guy.
Oh, nope. Okay. All right. Let's let's stay up there for a moment and actually see where the three are and plan a proper route. There's one right there, one back there, and the final one's up there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, just, just delete his existence entirely. And now we can use the opportunity to just walk over it. With nearly no issue. Well, purposely pop that. Nothing responded. Okay. We finally have one. We have one uh, explosive power up of three. But we also can't jump out of the barrel or we will explode. Because that's how TNT gets charged in this universe by jumping out of the containing barrel. Also, you never use just a stick, you use a barrel. And you walk the barrel into place. Park right here. Alright. It's over there. Move, 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 move. We need to get over there and grab that one. And then turn our asses back around and get to the top floor. Alright, two of three, two of three. Down to that final one. Actually, oh. yeah, it would, would just be a casual barrel hanging on the steps here. Nothing suspicious. Boing. Yeah, that gently lifted us up instead of hurling us upwards, as usual. That one just gently kind of lifted us up. It was a quick manner. But it was not a violent shot, it was a left. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna... Mm, don't, don't, don't shoot me. Go back up the, just go back up the ramp, go on. Go on, there you go. And now I can follow behind you. There we go, there we go. We are in the final stretch. We click this, then we gotta cross that ring. With the TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. Oh no. Where is it dropping us off at now? Is it gonna let me have the third one? With the TNT barrel yes. all charged okay. up, it's time to deliver the payload Cross to the other side and go across the ring over there. Mm -hmm. Not suspicious at all. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. What are the odds I can cross this in time? Higher than expected. Be honest. And he was he was stopped on me. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> he wasn't gonna take another step because I was 
where he was expecting me to take a step. I finally wasn't good enough to just walk around me non suspiciously. But, uh. Yeah, I could get back over there easy enough. And time excited better, too. Now we can get back across this even quicker than before. Go ahead and sneak across in one fell swoop. Oh yeah, this timing is so much better. And pop it off right there. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Hell yeah. All right. I think I have time for Una Mas. Uh, let's go get that one done. Whee! There we go. Let's get it here. And start this one up. To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Alright. Let's go get them keys. And you have the key under all your money. Engine room key looks the same as every other key in this game. Alright, when you're down. One, two, and three. Go get three. No, that's oh, it's four right there. Let's go get that one first. Well, second. Alright, let's go get this one. Your key is now mine. Your life is forfeit. Good day. Jimmy. And gimme. Thank you. All. And delete your life. And there's two. Let's be running. And delete. Alright. Let's go get the one in the back then, I suppose. What is he gonna do now? Just jump down. I'm gonna sneak up beside this guy and empty his pocket out. I'm right beside him. And delete his existence. There we go. Alright. I don't see other guards are right over there. Let's just go and take care of him. And give me all your money and then your key. Thanks, buddy. And now you're dead. When you're dead, you're dead. Uh, 
Where's the last one? You're still here? Alright, sounds good. Let me just uh, run over here. I presume that means you're going to be lurking spray, and that's fine. If you're not lurking, that's you know, better. Thank you. Appreciate your presence, and if one else's matter. And to beat. Uh, killing him was completely unnecessary, but I uh, did it anyways. Let's climb up. Cross over. Here we are. Use like weird internal wings. Alright. This guy's just parked right there. So let's uh make his pocket a little lighter. Alright. Back on the other side. Okay. That I can hear. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. And cross back that over. Ooh, that was slick motions. And right down here. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Unlocking all of those locks to just flip that lever. And there Bentley goes, in through the vent. Presumably there's some hacking and games in here. Say that faster, Mary. I wasn't sure. Make sure when you shoot a bulb, you then take out the bulb the electricity is going to. I'll take them out in pairs. There we go. That was fortuitous. Pop that. There we go. Uh, the inside is a lot slower moving. And... Oh, missed that. Wait for it to come all the way back around. I don't think I can have any multiple pairs going across. If anything, it might give me allowance to have one, but I don't want to risk that. Up, up, up. Nope. Wait for it to come back around. And finally pop it. There we go. That was a long range shot actually done. Okay, pal. Ah, oh, there's a second level of them. Why? If I'm reading this right, it looks like you need to bomb those power nodes to get into the control room. Once that door is open, you'll be able to shut the engine down for good. Easy. Easy enough. If I can just drop them all down. Clean up anything I missed. Take it all the way, buddy. Put the override switch hey. and this engine is toast. And flippy the switchy. That's one less engine for that creepy clockla thing to drop power from. Yay! And 
we finish this as Bentley. And that means we can now go do the last mission, which is in fact Bentley's. Uh, this is taking less time than I thought, so... Provided finishing this mission puts us in the actual final mission. I could probably get it done before midnight. And the reason Midnight's my sticking point is because I I need to do my Duolingo for the day. I have a f I have my experience booster. Whee! Whee! And that all expires at midnight. So uh, I'd really like to actually get that done. Alright, so way over there. It should be reachable by uh, Bentils here. Uh, let's just go straight there and completely ignore everything else. Ow! Again, just ignoring everything else, nothing matters. We're just speeding through the slash. That's part. one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to have oh, so the cat controlling out. access to the engine room. She's demanding supper then because Murray, thank you for tutorial. You'll need to head inside and use your and she's just confirmed that by licking her lips. The Murray will be ready to go. Alright. Now's hack time. Let's go. And you get a bomb. <laughs> Boom! And hack time! Come on, hack. There we go. Extremely finicky about my place. Oh, damn. Oh. My shots bounce now. There we go. Let's use that to... He's good enough to actually hit our enemy there. Come on, there, go, oh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright. There's nothing around here, so we can just go ahead and pop through. But there is over there. run straight through them like that. There we are. Oh yeah, it's, this is gonna be easy, because now I can bounce things, not the power of angles and math on my side. Which makes it a hell of a lot easier. Let me tell you. If I can just, you know, use my mental mathematics, so not like number mathematics, just like the estimations of angles and I can correct them real quick. Uh, it'll be pretty golden. Oop, what's oop lamb? What's you oopin'? Bombs. Lost the phone for a sec. Oh, that was fine. Glad you found it though. Alright. Some bombs behind me again. Alright. Go up here. And knock that guy out and bomb him real quick. I'm gonna get out of there. 
Alright, there's no terminal there. So I... Yeah, I should have gotten up from that point. Not whatever I was doing. What I did was... Not what I should have. Should have instead gone around the side here. Boing. Just toss him right off the side and otherwise ignore her. Alright. Oh, it's only highlighting the one. Interesting. Watching Mako mermaids? What's that? My brain immediately assumes it's uh, probably an anime. A mermaid Netflix series? Ah, it's a Netflix series. There's the other terminal. Yeah, you know, I should have known it's right here. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? It's been a while. Right, let's hack this computer on up. Oh, oh. I was not expecting instantly in front of me like that. Oi, 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 stop it. Hop, hop. I'm gonna just take those to go. the other one. Same reckless moves. There we are. And now we just need to avoid these as they're being made. And hopefully we can get rid of this entire wall here. And boop. Another computer down. One left to go. I like how the incandescent bulbs on the back change to red when they're uh, hacked. Uh, whoa, that, that's uh... That was well over the angle I thought that would reach. Come on, keep turning. I need you to be at an appropriate angle for walking. That was... That was not the appropriate angle for walking, fam. In fact, that ruined everything. Ugh. I got so much more walking to do. Because I, I can't climb a ladder. What do I look like? Sly Cooper. Everyone knows only a raccoon can climb a ladder. Nothing else can. Nothing else is allowed to even think of climbing a ladder. I'll just drop a bomb behind me and see if that catches anything. Nope. I didn't hear the sound of anything taking damage anyway. Alright. Whee! Expertly avoid everything like that. And get to hacking. Hacking and whacking and smacking. We just hack and whack and smack him. We just hack, whack, chop him at me. There we go. Thank 
Much improved. And in there, Murray goes. Now that the door's unlocked. Hey, pal. Looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. Oh. Heads up, pal. You've got company. Get some distance between me and that door. So I furiously tap this button. Can I tap any button and it'll work? Yeah, that one's pretty seems to work. Big old electrical sockets. There's just straight up electrical plugs on the bottom. <laughs> Nearly standard American plug. Oh, I said standard American. Nearly NEMA 15 plugs. But just slightly different. They have a they have a ground pin that looks a lot like the other pins. Nice work. Head up All to right. the second level and thunder flop on the giant cylinders. That should finish them off. And that should, yeah, you know, have the uh, standard litany of guards. Robots. Thunderflop. Oi. Oi. He just warped. That robo just went bye-bye. Yeah, now, that's open. head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Let's go! Yeah, I'm glad to see you back the there, Andrew. Glad to see you back. Familiar names are always good. You've been working hard now in holiday mode? Ah! That would explain it. And an unexpected windfall? I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Clockla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch Excellent. is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local okay, radio so towers. We have some more set up missions to do. Fox is in range, We're gonna she'll take one week. of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis mm. light show goes off, well, you know the story. Actually, no, that, that should be fine. Let's go. I don't know who's supposed to start it. Probably Sly? Yeah, let's go, Sly. Boop. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. Indeed. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By mega jump the R2 button, You'll perform a huge jump, so be careful. All right, sounds like fun. Whee! All right. So each of those towers. Whee! And that'll help me get over here. It doesn't even cost any of my uh. Ability bar or anything. Hey. 
Whoops. Try that again. Help. Um, how am I supposed to get that extra bit of height there, Ben? Uh, let's try it elsewhere instead. Make our way over here. Jump up the top. Alright, that's not gonna let me. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do, I think. All it took was going to the other side to see it. Once we hop up here, and then from here I can yes. There we are. And boop. That sends one pulse. And we'll just go ahead and fly on over to here. spot and boop one more pulse and I, I should be doing the mega jump across that but you know whatever oh. mega jump oh no oh damn Oi! Oi! There we are, back up here. Back up here. Then we jump up here. Open right here? No. Where is the opening in this room? Where's the dang opening? There it is. Alright, that's set. And let's see how high up. Can you go ahead and get most of the way there? I think we can. Excellent. Excellent. Whoops. There we are. All four. Set. Nice. She's now headed on an intercept course directly for us. There we go. Oh. I suddenly I don't have the mega jump pack anymore. I was hoping I could keep that. Uh is it my abilities? No, I, I don't I don't get to keep that. Come on, game. She just let me have it. Especially since I was still up there. And there's like only this one last area. And boop. Looks like for once let's cut the flirty chit chat. Get down to business. <gasps> ah, so she admits it, it's flirty chit chat. That's not flirty chit chat. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think me tapping it. And goes just as fast as holding it, but it does less overheat.
pop over to you. Alright, let's start that up. She shoots way too many of these and missiles in general. Come on. What is that? That is clockwork. It's, uh, spoilers, if I tell you. But no, it's, uh, the ancient enemy of the Cooper clan. Uh, resurrected with someone else as the brain. Yeah, yeah, no, Chopper's taking damage, I don't care. opportunities to actually shoot this damn bird. Oh, there we go. Hated the second one at least. The fuck. Hey, hey. Definitely a lot more refinements modern games have gotten. I'll tell you that much. Now, I'm pretty sure I got uh, this game for Christmas when I was young. Because I really liked Sly 1, and I looked up and was like, oh, there's more. I need them. Honestly, fantastic decision saying it needed those getting it first. Yeah, no, so is Neil. shoot the bird when the rings are coming at me. Especially because they then take over entire vision and I'll alternate them just like that. Still better than uh, the shooting level and scaling. Hey, Cortex. I can't give you a shout out right now, but uh, hopefully uh, Kaney's around can do that. How was whatever game you were playing? How was it? Was it any fun? Did you get your running gun in it? We're just in the uh, 
final boss in this game. The final boss is a multi-part boss. Stop with the kept talking and everything. I thought you wanted to cut it out with the uh, flirty chit chat. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Light up the spurts some more. much of their health left. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see if I can't uh, hear that shout out for you, Corta. And you're playing Coromon, similar to Pokemon? That, that's not the Pokemon with guns, was it? That, that was something else, right? Coromon's something that actually tries to actually be a Pokemon and not like uh, something buzzwordy and very much just stolen like we're not Pokemon what are you talking about Pokemon's like we're, we're, we're Pokemon we're just not the Pokemon thing. does that sound about right Oh, nope, I did cancel it. That's not cool. There we go. Alright, come on. There we go. Cancel that shot as well. Let's fucking go. I can see its health going down. Nope. There we go. That's down for now. Alright. Now this is coming down as the final part. Two parts. She found our hideout. <laughs> who could who could have thunk it? Who could have thunk we were hiding out there? It's just straight up Pokemon with different names for things. Some new ideas, but so far they're hardly impactful. I gotcha. Oh, this scene. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. My life is literally flashing before my eyes. Oh, don't get the experimental jump either. I just have to actually run this off. Hurry, Sly. We're oh, going down. I did not get a full jump off that, but 
the game let me get it? I've fallen and I've died. Alright. Th this isn't gonna be resolved by uh, midnight, so it's just it's just gonna go. Like no, oh, oh, come on. Three, game, three, game, please. Three. Game, please. What, what, what did you want from me there, game? What did you want from me? Suppose I can... Do the feral pounce to get a little bit extra distance. No! And get over here. Doing the uh, barrel counts definitely helps in going just that much further. Time and time again. I don't think so. It's got indigestion. Oh, whoops. the other side pop the other right. There we go. Crash down in petty. Somewhere in Paris, not 100 percent sure where. Next to the Eiffel Tower, obviously. We, we did it. Right oh it's nice. an emotional moment. Die, sex, die! I hate to smash you. Watch out! That thing's still kicking. Yeah, get out of the laser grid arena. Fox mentioned something about a hate chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. And I know where this is going. And pry the speak open. And there's Neva's face. Holographically. I'm supposed to be using here. Nope, that's not cool. And now we pry that thing out of there. Evan, get the fuck out, Bentley. Do not stand there. Don't, don't talk. Nope. Nope, get, get out of there, Bentley. Come on, 
Because we're useful in the third game because of it though, but... Now his legs permanently crippled. And third game on. Wheelchair. But he's handy capable with it. And there we were. At the end of the road. And there we are. The claw gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. Ooh. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, her she informed Carmelita. us that we were all <laughs> under <laughs> arrest. <laughs> But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived with me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. Yay. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything, books, Music, art, it was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find okay, you, Cooper. I'll get you, Cooper. And your little gang, too. <laughs> I'll be seeing you soon, Green Tail. Oh my god. But that was slide two. And a 100% completion at that. Uh, no, I, I can't zoom on through it. But yeah, that is a 100% completion of Sly 2. We... We actually managed to complete it in, you know, uh, four... Finished it off in like four hours here. But, you know, that, that's just what it be sometimes. Sometimes that's just how it got us. But I'm gonna have to find a place to uh, head off to, like, immediately after all of this. We drop the bottle off back at our office. We didn't fully steal it, we gave that one back. So she can uh, hang on to it until uh, our next capture. <laughs> Meet you as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Jean owns a series of rug outlets across North America. He should be very much behind bars for a long time, though. Tessa became a real estate broker because she hypnotized her clients. <laughs> Jean Bisson went to work for the EPA and then got frozen in ice. I was trying to save some baked penguins. And Arpeggio's just dead. 
that much, but Arpeggio's just straight up dead. Clockwork killed him. He died on that blimp, and then it crashed. So even if he didn't fully die, that crash killed him. He's dead, so. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. No. Do you know what time it is? It is midnight 06. Almost midnight 07. I can't go outside. Well, I don't want to go outside. That is 100-100%. And there, there's no extra bonuses for being at a hundo hundo. Time for more gaming? Uh... It's time for more gaming somewhere else, because I... Well, I'm going to do a little bit of gaming from Duolingo, but then I am heading to bed. So, without much fanfare or ado, uh, I have a Discord if you want to keep up to date and see what I'm up to and, you know, talk to me and all that stuff. Uh, I've also got the rest of my socials over there on my link tree. So, we've got that going for us. But, for now, uh, we're just gonna head over to the lovely Sawin, who's doing some, uh, Elden Ring, and I'm gonna lurk there for a little bit, but then I'm going, like, to bed. Nini Andrew, and good night to the rest of you, and I hope to see you soon, but until then, goodbye!